This video will show you how to use HyperTerminal to connect to a multiflex controller and download historical data and then save that historical data to your desktop. First thing you need to do is uh, open up HyperTerminal. So I'm going to go to Start, Programs, Accessories, Communications, HyperTerminal. If you don't have HyperTerminal, you can download it for free off the internet. We're going to enter in a name for this connection. You can enter in any name you wish. It really doesn't matter. Then connect using. We will use TCP IP WinSock. The host address, we will type in the IP address of the controller that we want to connect to. And then select the port number that the Multiflex communicates over Telnet. Click the OK button. And you will see Telnet colon and the IP address it's actually st stating that the controller is requesting a password. So we'll type in the default password, and hit enter, and when we see current user admin, that means that we have logged in successfully. Now we're ready to download historical data, but before we do so, we want to go to Transfer, Capture Text, click the Browse button, and then navigate to your desktop and type in a file name. Uh, anything that you wish, but I'm going to type in Multiflex Historical Data and then click Save. Finally, I cl click Start. What that will do is save a file on the desktop, as you can see over here, that will capture anything I type in HyperTerminal and anything the controller sends to HyperTerminal. So we'll be able to capture all of the text that occurs. So now we're going to send the CL command, Charlie Larry command, and this will tell the um, Multiflex to send historical data. So I just hit enter, and you can see all of the XML historical data coming from the controller. And this will take a minute or two, depending on how much data you have. You'll know when it's done when you see the tag at the very bottom that says controller underscore history CND. So once you see that, you can disconnect from the controller. In fact, you can even close HyperTerminal. Now just double click on the file that's located on your desktop that you just previously created, and you'll see all of the XML data that's in, uh, that was downloaded from the controller. We are looking at XML data. data. So now we're looking at the historical data and we want to search for a specific input or output and look at its historical data. I can hit control F or I can go to edit find. As you can see control F is a command. And this will bring up a box that allows you to search for text. I'm going to search for less than sign CHI greater than sign T. As you can see, hyper, uh, I'm sorry, Notepad found the text that I typed in, CHIT. CHI refers to channel ID, T refers to T input, and you can see in this XML the name of channel input T um, is flow switch, and we see it's a time period of 3600, and these are the interesting tags right here, the HD tag and the, um, refers to the historical data. So inside of here you can see the date stamp of the on time of this um, input T in total seconds. It's 1468 for the eight o'clock, seven o'clock to eight o'clock hour. Let's try a relay. CHI zero will find relay one. And here we go. And you can see channel, in, channel ID 0 happens to be Relay 1, which has been named Inhibitor Pump. And we see the HD tag right here with a date stamp and a total on time of 0 seconds for the uh, 12 o'clock to 13 o'clock or 1 p.m. time period. This HD tag says uh, from the 13 o'clock to 14 o'clock time period, it also had 0 on time. If I wanted to search for data in relay number one, I'm sorry, relay number two, I search for CHI1. 
and it will show me channel ID 1, which is the bleed solenoid, which happens to be relay 2. So the relays are offset by 1. If you want to search for uh, relay uh, 4, you have to search for channel ID 3. And you can see here that channel ID 3 is actually relay 4. And then here's the date stamps, or the historical data, right in here. So if you don't see any of these HD tags, that implies that there's no associated data with that output, or input for that matter.